Hello, Adela. How are you? Hello, teacher. Thank you. And you? Very good. Very good. Are you ready for your English class? Yes. Okay. Very good. Let's. Uh, I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? Um, ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase anterior? Sí, sí, sí. Y la clase anterior. Um, uy, quizás porque ha avanzado mucho. Ahorita lo que se me viene a la mente son lo, los tiempos. Ah, ok. Time zones. Very good. That's good. Pues that, that's, that's, that's ok. That's ok. Eh, Gabriela. What do you remember about the previous class? Eh, no se le escucha, Gabriela. Tiene su micrófono en silencio. Hola, hola. Gabriela, ¿me escuchas? ¿Me escuchan, chicos? Ok, tal vez Gabriela no le funciona el audio. Uh, Wendy, ¿me escuchas? Ok, Wendy, dígame, ¿qué información se acuerda de la clase anterior? Híjole, me poncho. <ríe> me recuerdo que la tarea que nos quedó es que en el en discussion form íbamos Ajá. a poner una conversación. Y esa fue la tarea eh, que tenía que, pero no me acuerdo en, en el 4. Punto qué, eso sí no me acuerdo. Ok, eh, creo que era en el 4.7. Ajá, pero era parecida a la que ya estaba ahí, la íbamos a adaptar un poco, que tenía que ver con, el, con la ropa y todo eso. That is correct. Ajá. Pues, yes. Ok, very good. Thank you, Wendy. Laura. Ok, now in today's class. We're going to be looking at section 4.9. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones usando el presente continuo. Por favor, saque la libreta y tome apuntes en su libreta. First, give the definition of the present continuous. We... Todos escuchan? Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how Todos escuchan? To statements using the present continuous. Todos yes. escuchan? Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus the verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay? I'm going to go ahead and write that here. 
we have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can. Okay. So in this section, what you are going to do is you are going to give me at least 10 sentences, 10 oraciones, here. Okay. And share them in our discussion forums. In the discussion forum. Using the present continuous, usando el present continuous. Any questions? Let's go. Perdón. Cuatro punto diez. Gracias.
¿Cómo dijo que tenían que hacer las oraciones? En presente continuo. Por ejemplo, este, digamos, yo estoy estudiando. I am studying. Okay. O estoy comiendo. Y, I am yo, yo esta lección, como él dijo que adelantáramos. Sí. O sea, traté de adelantar, pero no sé si la he hecho bien. No, usted solo lo deja en el, dis, en el discussion form. No uh -huh. lo... No lo tienen aparte, digamos, lo que ha escrito, ¿no? ¿Cómo no? Es que lo hago aparte y lo, lo publiqué también. Ajá. también. ¿Y esas cómo las tiene? Esta, yo puse una We are dancing ballet. Estamos We are. bailando. Ajá. We are dancing ballet. Ballet, ajá. Está bien. Uh, they are swimming. Están nadando. They are swimming. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, está en presente continuo el verbo. Ajá, está bien. Sí. Bueno, hasta donde yo creo, sí. <ríe> Así la he hecho yo. Pues. <ríe> yo también ya los tengo. Ya me revisé, quería ver si lo había, si ya me vi que sí lo, lo publiqué y si lo tengo aparte. Pero igual así dice yo, por ejemplo, they are going at home, we are reading, we are eating, eating right now, cosas así, ¿verdad? Porque es la conjugación del, es el, el verbo en presente, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que sí. yo, la, yo las hice, pero dudé si lo había hecho bien o no. ¿Y ya terminó el 5? No, hasta ahí no llegué. Ah. <ríe> Solamente terminé el 4. Ah, ok. Y usted ya finalizó el 5. Sí, ya. Está pelado el examen. <ríe> sí, o sea, sí. Cuando usted lo haga, lo hace con tiempo. Ay, sí. Para el fin de semana se va a quedar. Porque tengo más espacio. No creo, que... no creo porque eh, según leí ahora el chat, decía que el, la otra semana empezábamos el siguiente curso. El y para, curso, ¿no? Ajá, pero entonces quiere decir que tenemos que tener finalizado el 80. Sí. Y si no termina, no he empezado el 5, no llega al 80. Tengo que dedicarle espacio. Sí, porque va a tener sí. que hacer tiempo. Sí, finaliza todo el 4. O sea, pero sí, el 5 solamente le vi el primer video y puse ahí como más o menos tenía que hacer, pero no hice mayor cosa. Mm. Hasta ayer lo pude ver, pero sí lo, lo pude avanzar. No estaban con la presión de que teníamos que avanzar. Miguel o Stephanie no lo han terminado para comparar con ustedes. Hola. ahorita. ¿Cómo dijo? Escribiéndolas estoy. Ah, eh, pues, I'm um, studying the book. You are cooking. He is eating. Eating. Comiendo quiere decir. Comer. Ah. Hey. ¿Usted ya las terminó, Miguel? Hola. Eh, sí, que me acuerdo que sí, como adelanté literalmente en vacaciones. También. Sí. Entonces, este, sí, las la avancé aparte. Y sí, me acuerdo que las puse, solo que no, se, no las tengo anotadas aparte. Ah, <ríe> pero debería de buscarse en el, en el foro por si le toca leerlas. Sí, ahorita voy a ver eso. O se las voy a inventar en algún momento. Uh, no, lo que la no, no sé tan pro. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
<risa> a, ver, te la... a ver, te la busco. Pues sí, para que si le llega a preguntar, se va a quedar, eh, no sé. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. More time. Yes. Okay. They are running to mountain. They think this is sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. Sleeping. Uh, or working. Working at home, digamos, trabajando en la casa. Uh, work it, working, pero uh, at home. Uh -huh. at, at home. Uh -huh. Sí. Eating. Ah. Eating. Eh, pizza. Ah, bueno. Bueno, porque... I am um, um, dancing my favorite. I am dancing uh -huh. my favorite. Uh -huh. My favorite music. Uh -huh. she, she's Talking about. Okay, talking. Mm. Talking about. Talking about your job, your cousin, your. Mm -hmm. Your is his or her? Is his? Ah, uh, two or oh no? She is talking, talking about. about. Ella está hablando acerca de su esposo. Is his husband or her husband? His. Es his, pero. Uh -huh. El off no. Ajá, pues ahí me quedé yo que no. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Ahí también le puede, puede decir, she's talking with your husband. Ah. Ella está hablando con su esposo. Sí, eso es lo mejor. Sí, his husband. His. His. También puedo ponerle your, según como dijo la compañera. Your. Ahí se escucha ah, mejor. Ajá, uh -huh. your husband. Ajá. Uh -huh. She's talking. Yours, uh -huh. eh, sin, sin la S, creo. Uh -huh. Your husband. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otra? With the skateboard. Something. 
Escate. Es, no es... Escate. Ajá. Ajá. Escate. 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 Escate.
Martinez. Adela Martinez. Jose Benigno. Claudia Saravia. Eh, uy. Ya está bien larga. Sí. Es como el ejemplo que el teacher dio. My name is Clary. I wearing a great suit today. Ajá, es como lo que estaba. Today, sí. Ajá, que el primero es my name is Cla Claire. I am wearing a green suit, suit today, vea. Y yo le puse I am wearing. De, bueno, la respuesta sería solo I am wearing. Ajá. I, como el IAM, vea. Como el I, el I ya lo tiene ahí. Ajá. Es del presente continuo, entonces lleva el verbo to be. I am. It's It's. El otro es they are wearing. They are wearing. It's hot today. Josh and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very soon, but they are wearing, wearing sunglasses. Uh -huh. They're not. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And it's yet uh -huh. to wear. It's yet 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 to It's hot today. Toshi y Noriko are wearing short and t-shirt. Ajá, que ellos sí andan en. It's very sunny. But Ajá, pero they... no andan lentes. Pero no andan lentes. Ajá. They are, oh, they are not, they are not wearing sunglasses. Ajá. Uh -huh. Phil, Phil is wearing a suit today. A suit today. He and a brown shirt. He's mm -hmm. wearing. He is wearing. Uh -huh. Él está usando mm -hmm. una camisa mm -hmm. café. café. But, uh -huh. he, Azul. but he tie tie. Ah uh, no. Significa tie. Eh, corbata, sino que Ay, no está usando corbata. Sería, but he's not wearing a tie today. He's not. Aunque yo veo como que se la lleva usted. Uh -huh. uh, guys, are you finished or do you need more time? Finish. Okay. Finish. Okay. All right, let me have Jose Benigno, number one, please. Jose Benigno, number one, please. 
Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hey, Jose Benigno, number one, please. My name is Claire. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a great suit today. I am wearing high heel shoe. Perfect. The next one, continue, Wendy Ramirez. Eh, right here it's eh, raining but it's raining but i am not wearing a a ra raincoat a raincoat excellent okay. raincoat number two please adela number two okay it's hot today toshi and noriko 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 are wearing shirt and T-shirt, uh, it's very soon, good day, red, red not wearing sunglasses. Excellent. Uh, Miguel Antonio, number three. Uh, Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a brown shirt. Perfect. Gabriela Urrutia, number three. But he's not wearing a tie today. Excellent. Number four, Hilda. It's not wearing. Uh, Hilda, read number four. It's cold ah, today. Number four. Ah. It's cold today, but, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. Excellent. She, ah, okay. Claudia Saravia, continue. Number four. She is wearing sweet ski. Sweat shirt. Sweat. What? Sweat shirt. Sweat, sweat shirt. Sweat shirt. Gloves and a hat. Excellent. Continue, Violeta Susena. Continue, Violeta Azucena. Hola. Hola. Okay, the, she is not wearing boots. Perfect. But... She's not wearing boots. Excellent, Violeta. Regina, the last one, Regina. She is wearing a sneakers. She's wearing sneakers. Perfect. Let's look at the next one. 4.12, 4.12. By the end of this class, you will be able to form yes, no questions in the present continuous tense. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar preguntas con respuestas sí y no en el tiempo presente continuo. Listen, please. Escuchen el video, por favor. Tome apuntes. Explain. Todos escuchan? After you Todos finished, escuchan? Go ahead and share your work in our yes. form. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be, 
plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you the verb is wear and we add ing to that that will be wearing a suit and of course we put a question mark there let's give another example the verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, uh, the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? This is the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. Now, for this activity, what you are going to do is you're going to come here, make these questions as I, and you're going to give me 10 questions, 10 questions, 10 preguntas, solo las preguntas, utilizando el verbo to be. And you're going to write it here in the discussion forum. Do you understand? Okay, let's go. Hola, hola. Hola. Ah, sí. ¿Ya las está haciendo? Sí.
Is he? Is he cooking with me? She. Are you? Snakes. It's it's she. Is she eating? Eating the long. Lunch. 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 Is he? Is Mario? Is Mario? Is Mario? Stay. 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 Dancing in the in the party. Is he Swim, swim, beach, beach,
All right, welcome back. Is everybody finished? Or do you? Yes, finished. Yes. Yes. Okay, finished. let's continue with the next one. Let's check. Beth, Nick, Anita. Observa la imagen de abajo y contesta las preguntas con respuestas cortas. ¿Ya hicieron esta actividad? Ok. Yes. Wendy, yes. number one, yes, please. Sir. Wendy, number one, please. Um, is, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Que hay que ponerle un punto porque si no, no lo agarra. Ok. Y no lleva coma. Es un error de dedo de la plataforma. Okay. Adela, number two. Okay. Is, is Nike wearing sunglasses? No, he's not. No, he's not. Very good. Number three, Daniel. Con gusto es, quiero ver. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Violeta, number four. Is John wearing blue jeans? No, he's not. Hilda, number five. Is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? No, she is not. Excellent, excellent. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have actually already finished section number four, and we are going to continue with section number five. At this moment, do you have any questions? Okay, we're going to look at section five. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Al finalizar esta clase, serán capaces de hablar sobre diferentes ciudades y las zonas horarias internacionales. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación entre dos personas en diferentes zonas horarias. What time is it there? Listen, please. Now let's listen to a conversation. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney, now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. 
Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? All right, in this activity, what you are going to do is you are going to give me five sentences. For example, it's central time in Texas. It's Eastern time in Seoul. You're going to, van a escribir cinco oraciones expresando la hora que son en otros tiempos de zona. Five examples. Five examples. Hola. Ya lo hizo, ¿no? No, ese sí no. Pensé que era la conversación que te tenía que hacer. Tiene que poner... Porque yo hice la conversación cambiándole las horas. Ajá. No, tiene que, tiene que ubicarse de acuerdo al, al mapa y decir... Así como, como los ejemplos que, que han dado los otros compañeros, que, ah. que en América Central... Hay un tiempo estándar con El Salvador. Mm. Ah, pues está mal lo que hice. Ajá, según, si usted, se... según vea, todos han hecho la conversación. Ajá, pero no este... All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up, time's up. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.